the funds that we can get, we can work with. Yes. If they give it to us. Yes. Because when they get that money up, they also like know that they got so many blacks, majority, <laughs> minority to deal with. Be so they already to pick them out. A Charles, a Bud, a Sam, a Willie. As a rule, what I really want to say, they already got their house niggas. <laughs>
I'm excited though. Uh, Senator Eric Kearney from the Greater Cincinnati African American Chamber, he was recently at the White House putting in a bid for extra funds or federal funds for black owned businesses. Remember you and I went to uh, a seminar, a forum that was held by the African American Chambers and it was about the fact that they were not giving construction companies or black owned construction companies and developers funds to, to build. Okay, do you remember that? I remember that. I remember that uh, downtown in, uh, it should be the old Holiday Inn. Yes. Yes, yes. we went there. I remember that. You know, and they want to give the money to certain black construction companies. That's right. You know, but we really, really, black contractors, small black contractors, minority black contractors need to get a bite at that. That's right. And I'm glad that they trying to give us some of that is that this is what you're saying right yes, yes. okay so we got to all get a bite of it and take advantage of it because the one blacks is all taking advantage of it they're taking advantage of it for themselves that's right they're thinking about their family and friends only they're not that's thinking right. about the community as a whole you know they're not spreading that money out and we need to spread the money out because it's a lot of minority black contractors small black contractors it's Great. Yes. And they can do the job in the same job, but you just can't get in there to get a bite. That's right. That's right. And I'm here to tell it. You know, like if they want some if they want a bite, see Hickley Construction. Okay. Or Mr. C's. Okay. And talk to me and or either talk to Kelly Prather and we get you a bite. That's right. We will get you a slice of the pie, more than a bite, a slice of the pie, because we deserve it. You know, all too often, we compete with each other, and that we need to realize that as long as you're getting a slice of the pie, and you're eating, and your family is able to eat, then you're okay. And so, like you said, either speak with Kelly Prather or speak with Charles Hicklin of Hicklin Construction, and now Mr. C's Soul Food Restaurant, and we will get you something. We will get you a slice of that pie. And it, we will get you in the door, and without no doubt. Just try and put it in more effort, you know, because the the blacks the, the blacks just up there. It ain't but three or four. They're really trying to give us a chance, not trying to give us a chance. They don't care. They care about theirs. But with this new money coming out, we can work with it. That's right. That's right. And speaking of new money, I just heard, and I just actually, you know, I'm a researcher. You know, I, I, I do my due diligence and get the information. There was just federal funding awarded for the Western Hills Viaduct, $127 million. $127 million is going to redevelop or rebuild the Western Hills Viaduct. I heard on another radio podcast or radio show that they're hoping that black constructor construction uh, workers or companies and developers get access to that money. So is that something that you would be willing to work on? Well, as I would be willing to work on it, you know, but uh, they don't give us the bite of it. You don't think so? No, 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 because we don't have the manpower. We don't have the tools. We don't have the equipment to even get, take a step to get in on it. We don't have back, do back holes, we don't have bulldozers, we don't have dump trucks to get, in, to get in it, you know. We had to stay in our grounds like uh, maybe uh, a 50 unit complex, different complexes, but on that big money, we do not have nothing to go with. Okay, I know that there are several major uh, black owned minority owned contracting companies or construction companies that do have the capacity they do have the equipment I think it's about networking uh, with the African American Chamber of Commerce and connecting uh, the people who can make it work I think that it's about collaborating and networking well they will subcontract some of the work yes. to them okay they will subcontract clean it up after the demolition the clean up or something like that, but that's about it. 
Right. And you know what? I, 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 I'm trying to be optimistic here. Um, I get what you're saying. A lot of times when that money comes down the pipeline, they already have those funds allocated to the companies that they want to send them to. Uh, send the money to, uh, but I'm, you know, I'm hopeful that Senator Eric Kearney, especially since he was just at the White House talking about those infrastructure dollars that came through that in, that billion dollar infrastructure bill and allocating it to the black owned businesses. Uh, the current mayor, uh, Aftap Purable, the current mayor of the city of Cincinnati, he was also at the White House talking about infrastructure dollars and allocating to minority owned businesses. So, you know, let's just keep hope alive and just hope and pray for the best. But I think that the first step is to go to the city's community and economic development department and see what we can get out of it because that some of those funds should come back to the black community. Well, well you were right about that because the funds that we can get, we can work with. Yes. If they give it to us. Yes. Because when they get that money up, they also like know that they got so many blacks, majority, <laughs> minority to deal with be so they already to pick them out. A hey Charles, a hey Bud, a hey Sam, a hey Willie. As a rule, what I really want to say, they already got their house niggas. They subcontract too, and then they suck. They come down and subcontract to us. You said a mouthful. You said a mouthful, and that's one of the things that I've been saying forever. And you said it at the beginning. I mean, they have their picks. They have right. the face of their diversity plans. And those faces have monopolized all of the contracts. And they don't, rep again, they don't represent us. They represent their family and they represent their friends. Um, you know, it's very much so, it's very much political. And what I challenge people to do is look at how they have allocated contracts in the city when you're thinking about who you want to vote to the county, okay? I hope people caught that. Think about how contracts have been allocated within the city of Cincinnati limits when you want to decide who you should vote for for the county because it's going to be the same, it's one and the same. Okay, so I'm thinking about the everyday person and looking out for Mr. Charles and Hicklin Construction and, and Bud's HABC system or, you know, and, and, and all these companies, Four Seasons Constructions. I'm looking out for the people who really need it, who got mouths to feed and not just companies to run, but mouths to feed at home. So, you know, let's just keep hope alive. But uh, on a much lighter note, let's go back to J&W's Barbecue. That's the name for legacy purposes only, Mr. C. C. Uh, Soul Food. Tell us what's on your menu. What's on my menu? You got uh, meatloaf, you got pork chops and gravy, you got chicken and gravy, you got Cornish hens and gravy and rice, uh, you got greens, you got green beans, you got macaroni, uh, you got Mr. C's Big Burgers. Uh, you got barbecue, you got fish, you got salmon croquettes. Uh, I know I left some out. I can't remember it all. You got cakes, you got pies, you got cobblers. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you said the right thing, baby. Yes. That's right. You know, so uh, come on out to Mr. C's and J and W. You know, and uh, we gonna accommodate you. Yes, 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 yes. So for all of your catering needs, for all of your um, family reunions, for all of your events, give Mr. C's a holler. They're located right here in the lovely, lovely, lovely neighborhood of Pleasant Ridge at 5646 Montgomery Road on the corner of Lon Dell and Montgomery Road. Come out and see Mr. C's. I can't wait till this broadcast is over because I'm going to get me something to eat. <laughs> okay, you're welcome to it, Kelly, whenever you want. All right. And, All in, right. and in closing, what, what, what message do you want to send about um, your black-owned businesses? I, I, listen, brothers, I just want y'all to stay down, stay on top of it, don't give up, don't go throw the tile in, because you can do it. Just do it. You heard it first from the man, my triple OG, Mr. Charles Hicklin himself. As always, um, I'm just so appreciative of everything that you do for me, Charles, and look for me and Charles on the road really, really soon. This political thing, uh, although they keep throwing bricks at me, I ain't going to stop. Like Mr. C said, I'm going to stay down. I'm not going to let you stop, baby. 
<laughs> you know, I'm not going to let you stop. You're going to be all right. Yeah. If you stop, it's going to stop. It's going to stop. Okay. All right. Thank all you right. so much. God bless. All right. Thank you.